there really is no common failure historically for us and the sensor. So that's a good thing. In theory, if there is a fault, it may set a code 0117 or 0118. Those are basically open circuit or short circuit fault codes, meaning that if that code occurs, it could either be an open or short in the sensor, or it could be an open or a short in the harness. Neither one of those are likely problems. How would we test it? Using the Kohler diagnostic software, we can look at live data. We can look at the temperature that's being displayed and make sure that matches reality. And what I mean by that is you can use an infrared temperature probe, you know, measure the temperature of the engine near the sensor and make sure that it's close to what the diagnostic data is showing. Another way we can test it is before the engine has been started, we can look at that temperature value and it should be similar to the ambient temperature. So if it's 70 degrees in the shop and the machine has been sitting in the shop overnight, it hasn't been run yet, those temperature values should be about the same. There's also an intake air temperature reference indicated on the live data. Between the engine temperature and the intake air temperature on a non-running engine, those two should be very similar. Once the engine has been started and running, the engine temperature is generally gonna be quite a bit higher than the intake air temperature for the obvious reason. Before 2015, we had a separate intake air temperature sensor it's now built into the TMAP sensor. Very low failure rate. I don't know of any of these that have failed. There are fault codes 0112 and 0113, opens or short circuits. Use live data, look at the temperature values, but again, odds are you're not going to experience a failure with this.